I think she, she's definitely gonna get there because uh, she just doesn't miss. She was my partner in, at, the, at the Solheim and it's pretty incredible. Like if you have an eight footer and inch, she'll make it. And uh, she doesn't get bothered by things. Like she just doesn't care and that's a really good attitude to have. And you know, she's not very long, but she's long enough and she's always really straight. So, you know, those players that are always there, you know, eventually they are gonna get it. Carlotta Segunda, she's a very solid player. Um, you know, she hits it very long and um, very consistent. She's a great putter too. So she has a very strong game. I think Carlotta is gonna win soon because um, she got it all. She's so talented and, and she hits it so far. So that's a, that's a big advantage. Um, you know, as soon as she starts hitting her driver straight, she, she just got it. So, you know, she was so close at CME and then super close in Dubai as well, a um, couple weeks after. And, so I think she's got a lot of confidence now and I think it's going to be a really good year for her. Jenny Shin I've played with, I've played with quite a few times actually, and um, you can see her, you know, she's very, still very young and she's over the last year or so, she's kind of grown into her game more. Um, but what I see, I see a good ball striker there and the putting's just a little bit streaky sometimes. So um, when it's on the good side, you know, that's when she's in contention and has a chance to win. And so. I think that's why, you know, that's why she's getting close to getting over that hump. But she's super talented, and I think she has the abilities. It's just learning how to do it. Someone that I think, um, if she believed in herself a little more, will will break through into the winner's circle, and that's Jarena Pillar. Uh, I don't think she realizes um, what everyone else sees. I think she definitely has the game to win out here, not just once, but multiple times. She's sneaky long, hits it a mile. Um, is just very solid. She doesn't make a whole lot of mistakes. Um, there's no real weak spots that I've seen in playing with her in her game, and um, she keeps putting herself in contention, and I don't think it'll be too long before uh, she's holding a trophy. Chella Choi has been so close so many times, and it's so cute, like her dad on the bag. I mean, each week, because these guys, like, once she wins, then he's gonna retire, which is kind of what my dad's mentality was. She's a very solid player. Um, but some, something in the last round is just not, doesn't go her way. Whether it's, I mean, I know she's made hole in ones in the last round and you're like, all right, she's gonna get this one. And then it just doesn't happen. And she's such a solid player. They're just both wonderful people and really wishing hard for them in 2015 so she can get that win. So her poor dad can retire, but he loves it so much that he'll still come out every week, I'm sure, and um, you know, support her as much as he can. So I'm rooting for Chella Toy this year.